How you all doing? Good. My name is Dwayne. Everybody say, hey, Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne. Good to see you guys. Um, we're going to do a thing called a three-read protocol. Does anybody see a word you can't quite read, either because of your angle, or you can't read it because you're too far away? Adults, the reason we do that is we want to make sure we are uh, taking care of any cultural things. Uh, the other day, I was doing a three-read, and a student needed to raise his hand and say, what's a, what's a craft fair? And so we had to talk about a craft fair. It had nothing to do with the problem, but it was important to him. And he needed to know what a craft fair was in order to focus on the math. This is called a three-read protocol, which means I, we're going to read it three times. The first time I'm going to read it all by myself with my words, I want you to follow along with your eyes. Keep your mouth closed. Okay, here we go. It took two days for Catalina to paint her room. She used one and three-fourths gallons on Friday. Then she used one and a half gallons on Saturday. With your partner, I want you to the two of you to talk about what is this story about? What is this story about? Talk with your partners. Go. Raise your hand tell me, what is the problem about? What is this story about? Let's talk about this. What is this story about? Yes, ma'am. painting the room. So it's about painting the room. What else is this story about? Yes. It's about Catalina painting It's about Catalina painting a room. Good. What else is this story about? Yes. How long does it take her? About time. How long does it take her? We're going to read it a second time. This time, we're going to read it in unison, as a whole class, as we read this. So let's go. It, it took two days for Catalina to paint her room. She used one and three-fourths gallons on Friday. Then she used one and a half gallons on Saturday. Beautiful. With your same partners, I want you to identify all the different quantities you see in this story. Quantity is another way of saying amounts. What are all the different amounts or quantities you see in this story? Go. Hands up. What is a quantity in this story problem? What uh, is an example of a quantity or an amount? If you're not sure what the word quantity is. What's an amount or a quantity in the story? Yeah, Lucy, I just talked to you. Say one and three-fourths. So we got one and three-fourths. Now, technically speaking, one and three-fourths right now is a number. It's not a quantity yet. It becomes a quantity when we attach a label to it. One and three-fourths something. So Lucy, do you have a suggestion for what label we should attach to one and three-fourths? One and three-fourths gallons. gallons. OK. Now we have a quantity. Good. Hands up. Another quantity in this story. Another quantity in this story. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two days. Two days. Beautiful. Another quantity. Another quantity. Yes, sir. One and one half gallons. Audience, did you notice they are now repeating the idea of a quantity? They are now giving me numbers and labels automatically. So they are now, the role modeling we done, they are now copying. And that's exactly what we wanted. A lot of our teaching can be done through role modeling, not through teaching. Any other quantities in this problem? Any other quantities? Is that a hand? Yeah? Gallons. Ah, so we've got just gallons. So we've got some, some unknown number of gallons, right? Gallons, but there's some unknown number of gallons. Good. Anybody else? OK. Audience, I don't normally do this with kiddos. But I'm going to do this now because I need to teach you something. Okay. So guys, these are all called explicit quantities. They're called explicit quantities because this says 1 and 3 fourths. There's 1 and 1, one and 3 fourths. This says 2 days, and right here is 2 days. So those are called explicit quantities because they are actually mentioned in the problem. There's another kind of quantity called implicit quantities or implied quantities. 
quantities that you know are in the story but aren't actually mentioned. For example, how many Catalinas do we have in this story? One. So we have one Catalina. That's called an implied quantity. Because nowhere does it say, by the way, guys, we have one Catalina. It's just an implied quantity. So with those new eyeballs looking for implied quantities, does anybody see maybe another implied quantity that you might see? That you might see? Let's talk with your partner. What's an implied quantity you might see? What's an implied quantity you might see? All right, here we go. What's, what's a possible implied quantity that we see up here? I mean, it's kind of a, a weird question to ask. Yes, sir? One room. Yeah, we have one room. We have one room. Do we have any other implied quantities? Ah, oh, look at this. All, a lot of hands. Yes, ma'am? So we, we only have one Saturday. You hit a home run because somebody went, ooh. You go, girl. Uh -huh. Any other implied quantities? Boy, say, oh my gosh. See, the adults in the room thought we were done, didn't you? And the kids disagree with you. This is awesome. Yes, sir, way in the back. One Friday. So we got one Friday, right? All right. Now that we get into the implied quantities, this could take a day and a half, just, just this list alone. So we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it to a close, pull it to a close. We're going to read this question a third and final time. We're going to read it in unison again. You guys did a pretty good job reading it together last time. Let's do it even better this time. Uh, so let's go. It, it took two Good, ladies and gentlemen, with your same partners, you'll notice this story has no question. There's no question mark. So we don't know what we're supposed to solve. So I want you and your partner to come up with a question that we're supposed to solve. Come up with something that involves a question mark. Go. What's a possible question? There are so many possible questions that could go with this story, so many. So what's a possible question we could ask for this story? A possible question. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so how many gallons did she use in all? Did she use in all? Another possible question. That we, now some of you, your hands, I could see you, you all went, ah, oh, she stole mine. <laughs> well, keep coming up with other questions. There's so many possible questions. So if that one got taken, come up with another one. Y'all could do it. You can do it. Uh, yes? How much gallons were left? So how many gallons, how many gallons were left when she was done? Were left when she finished. Is that okay to say it that way? Okay, good. Another possible question. Another possible question. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, no worries. I saw the panic as I was getting ready to call you. You went, no, never mind. Good. Come, if you come up with it, you just raise your hand again. I'll, I'll put you in the front of the list. Yes. How much paint did she use in all? How much paint did she use in all? These are all good questions. We might answer a bunch of them, uh, but let's start. Who did this one? Who did this one? Tell me your name. Alea. Alea. How do you spell that? A-L-A-Y-A. A-L-A-Y-A. Cool. So let's begin by working on Alea's question. All right, so I'm going to read the whole story complete with Alea's question. So it took two days for Catalina to paint her room. She used one and three quarters gallons on Friday. She used one and a half gallons on Saturday. 
how many gallons did she use in all? That's the question we're going to work on. Brenda, do they work on their tables? Is that how I'm reading it correctly? Now listen, wait, wait, wait. When I say go, so don't move until I say go. I'm going to give you a bunch of directions. When I say go, you're going to get your marker, you're going to work on the table. That's so cool. And I want a minute of pure silence. And during that minute of pure silence, I want you to do whatever you need to do to solve Alea's question. You might draw pictures, you might use numbers, your pictures might be circles, your pictures might be tape, it does not matter, but for a minute, I want you to work on this problem in pure silence. Go.